Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Brad Cruz. I work with uh, DM Cork and uh, G3. Uh, we distribute G. Uh, sorry, we distribute uh, DM Cork up here. At the Hello. Um, I work here with uh, Leslie, who is going to do a quick presentation about uh, DM Cork. Uh, what makes DM different is the ability to actually remove cork taint from uh, cork granules. And then what we do is we bind it back together and we provide a very consistent cork from bottle to bottle. And what this really, what I get excited about is if you make an age-worthy wine, DM cork is the one you should be using. Um, it really does allow the wines to develop consistent uh, when, as you pull out bottles from the same case that are five years old plus, and you have that slight variance, Dion is going to fix that particular problem. Uh, we're also pretty excited about a new product that we're launching. Uh, it's a new beeswax uh, Dion fork, and in particular, uh, we are able to use a beeswax emulsion to coat all the cork granules, and it also allows us to control the consistency of the OTR. Leslie. Hi, um, my name is Leslie Gennad. I am not Francois. Sorry about that. I don't have a sexy French accent. Um, I am brand new to Dion. This is actually my third week, so please be kind to me. Um, prior to this, I was actually in production for the past 20 years. So I've been a winemaker primarily on the Central Coast, uh, focusing on Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, and I'm now working with, uh, with Dion, which I'm pretty excited about. So Diem is part of the Oino group. Um, we focus on closures with Diem for still wine, for sparkling wine, and also for um, spirits. Uh, we also work with Sigun Moreau for aging in barrels, and then uh, with Vivalis and Blase chips for, for aging. So Diem basically guarantees you three things. We guarantee that you will have a clean cork. Each and every cork will be clean. There will be no TCA. We've removed all the anosols and the phenols from the corks. Um, and that each and every bottle, as, as Brad said earlier, is going to be consistent. Um, we also have consistent mechanical properties so that you can guarantee that the, the consistency of the cork will be the same uh, from cork to cork. And that we also uh, provide choice in that we have uh, different, uh, different levels of uh, oxygen transfer rates or OTRs depending upon the corks. Um, if you have more questions about that because it's kind of a geeky technical thing, we'll be happy to answer it in the back later. Um, so what we do is we start with the patented TCA extraction process. Um, what we do is we use something that's called supercritical CO2 for cleaning the, the cork particles. Um, this removes all the phenols and the anosols. You're guaranteed to have no TCA in each cork. But in addition to the removal of TCA, we've also found over 150 other volatile properties that are removed from the corks. So not all of these are negative, but all of these are going to shift the aromatic profiles of your pinot from bottle to bottle. So that's something that we've completely eliminated. Uh, the latest addition to the range is the new cork that's called the Origine. Um, we're trying to, to do things as greenly as possible. Um, so the binder that's in this corks are 100% plant-based. They are from castor oil. <coughs> so with the organic wine market, the consumer is definitely becoming a lot more ecologically aware now. Um, there's more than 50 countries in the world that have produced organic wine. 71% of the world's organic vineyards are in Spain, Italy, and France. Um, I think that certainly Anderson Valley is definitely somewhere that's really focused on this now. Um, and it, it's definitely something that's becoming bigger and bigger every year and the consumers are asking for. So uh, the cork is basically made of just three things. It's made of the vegetable binder, which comes from the castor oil. It's made from cork, which comes from cork trees, cork oaks, and beeswax for the emulsion. So the beeswax works as uh, basically microspheres that fill up the spaces in between the cork particles. Uh, the um, the biosource binder is also allergy free, guaranteed GMO free, um, has no taste and no odor, and you can also tell people it's gluten free too. 
of vital storage microspheres, which I mentioned earlier, are 100% natural beeswax. Um, the company is currently investing money in, in starting new uh, bee colonies so that we can have enough product to actually be making these corks. Um, it's worked into an emulsion for perfect homogeneity. It's incredibly stable, uh, very hydrophobic, and it is tasteless and odorless. And that's it. So thank you very much. Oh, I did want to mention, I'm sorry, I lied. Um, back at the table, I mentioned 150 volatile compounds. I actually have um, an example of that, and we did want to put it in each of your glasses so that we didn't want to have any uh, sensory impacts going forward, but we'd like to have you come by um, and smell them at the table, and I also have a list of all the different compounds. So um, enjoy the rest of your show.